Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm Jamie. Today I have an awesome video. I'm really excited about this. These are like my favorite videos to watch so I'm hoping you're catching this one and these are your favorite as well. What I love to do is dupe really, you know, hard to get products, limited edition products or really expensive products, all of that. I love to like look into what I have already or what's easily accessible at the drugstore and pick up dupes. That would be awesome. So today I am talking about some new Jaclyn Cosmetics lip products. I picked up four and this video is all about finding dupes on these products. So I hope you guys really enjoy this. I know I do and I know that these are sold out in so many different places or actually just on her website, but it's been sold out a couple times and they're not available anywhere else. So I figured that this would be an awesome chance to tell you guys about ways you can get your hands on them. And then also I'm going to demo the products. I know that there's a lot of different videos out there about these products. So you might've seen them before, but you haven't seen them on these lips. So anyway, let's give this a try. So like I said, these aren't very expensive products. I think they're pretty reasonable, but you do have to pay shipping and handling, which is always a pain in the ass for me. Um, Got to wait for shipping, all of that. And it's hard to decide. I think it's difficult to decide which ones are the best colors for you and all of that. So to hell with all of the running and trying to grab things before that they sell out. And let's see what we can find in other places to uh, compare to these products. So. I've got four of them. I have two of the liquid lipsticks. I have it, one in Be Brave, which is like a pinkier color. And then I have one in I'm a Cancer, which is a brown color. And then I have two lip liners. One is in Bourbon, which is a pinkier color. And one is in Coffee Cake, which is a browner color. I don't think that these are very expensive. Um, maybe $18 each, I think maybe. Um, I'll have the price and links listed below, but I know that they've been sold out. So I don't know if they're still available right now, but let's get into the swatches demo, all of that. So I've been trying to find dupes for these through my collection for the past couple of days. So my lips are like so pissed off at me. Um, but anyway, we're gonna give it the last go. I think I'm in a good place and let's see what you guys think about these. So. Let's start out with the lip liners. We will start out with coffee cake. And let me, I'm gonna put this on my lips as a lipstick and we'll go from there. All right, this is coffee cake. So I do have a lip primer on underneath these. I really have to wear that because this formula is so drying. All of these are so drying on my lips that it's not comfortable in any way. So I have to wear a primer, which kind of sucks because you know, a primer makes your formula not as long lasting, but this is coffee cake on my lips. You can see it's more of a brown and I'm gonna see, give it the kiss test. Now it does have the primer on underneath it. So that's probably why it's coming off. I don't think it would really come off if I didn't have the primer down, but that is the only way that I can comfortably wear this. So now let's get to the dupes of this color. So this is coffee cake. I'm gonna swatch it right there. There it is. Now I'm gonna do the dupes on either side. So I have Dominique Cosmetics in the color Nudie, their lip liner. And I really like this lip liner too. It's so comfortable and smooth, easy to put on. So it's a little bit darker. You can see it's not like the most perfect dupe, but it's really, really close. Trust me, I've gone through everything I own and that is pretty close. <laughs> then the next one, I think those Dominique Cosmetics ones are like $15. You buy them on her website as well. The next dupe I have is KKW, and this is in the Nude 1.5. Put it on the other side. And there it is over there. So you can see it's very similar as well. Maybe just a touch off, but really, I mean, this is so close. The only other one I had that I thought was close as well is the KKW and Mario collab. 
This one doesn't really, Beauty Icon is the name of this color. And I'll try to draw this across the bottom and see if you think of that is any closer. This is just, these are the three that's the closest to me. So I think you get very similar looks from all three of them, but that is what I found for dupes in my collection. So let's take this one off and we'll go with the next lip liner. Okay, the next lip liner is Bourbon. I have it here. So remember these are just um, pencils that you have to sharpen right there let me swatch it for you it's kind of more of a pinky brown color the other one was a yellow brown this is pinky brown all right there we are this is bourbon really pretty i really like it i think it's a good color to wear as a regular lipstick as well the formula is you know it's let's see i didn't put a primer on this time now it's kiss proof so it is kiss proof but just leaving it like this it does get pretty drying but that is bourbon so like i said i swatched it right here now let me show you what i found as dupes for bourbon so the first one is a Whirl by MAC. So that was Bourbon and that's Whirl. Really, really close. This one might be a little bit pinkier. Whirl might be. And then the next one, which is Nude Beige by NYX. And that one is Nude Beige by NYX. I feel like that is like spot on. That's it. It's Nude Beige by NYX, I think. Super, super close. So this is like three bucks, four bucks. Yes, grab this one instead of this one. Okay, let me take this off and then we'll start with the liquid lipsticks. Okay, so in order to put on the liquid lipsticks, I really have to prime my lips because they're just, they dry out their little prunes from this liquid lipstick. It is not a forgiving formula at all. I feel like it's extremely drying on my lips. So I am using the MAC Prep and Prime. Okay, I just have to put that on. So let's go with the first one, which is I'm a Cancer. I picked this one up first. It was a lo around the longest and I picked this one up and I was not really that impressed with it, but then when they came back in with the color I really wanted, I scooped that one up and then the lip liners. So just, you know, looking at the component, it is nice. I like how thin it is. It's pretty, it's a great size. Um, I think there's a good amount of product in here. I'm not really excited about like the applicator. I feel like it doesn't like suck it in at the end so it's pretty loose in there so i know that i feel like this could spill out and it's really a watery formula so i just want to be really aware of that and you just want to put on a thin layer yeah you really want to be thin with this and this is like could easily spill i got some on my notebook yesterday and just from opening it so this is I'm a Cancer. This is not my favorite shade at all. I am not really a big fan of this brown color. And when I first picked it up, I was like, oh, I don't know. And, um, but I can make it work. I mean, I can use one of that, that bourbon lip liner and like pull it a little bit darker. But anyway, this is, it's like beginning to settle now. It just makes my lips really cracky. But it just like, it's not comfortable, even with the primer. If you don't have the primer on, oh my God. It's like Night of the Living Dead zombie lips. But even with the primer, I'm kind of like, mm, not really feeling it. But it's okay. So this is it. I think um, it's just not my favorite. So anyway, let's look at the dupes because maybe you guys are interested in it. And let me swatch this one really quick. 
And this one was hard to come by dupes. I don't have many browns. They're not something that's flattering for me. So that's I'm a Cancer. So this is not something I typically go for at all. The two that I found that were the closest were this M Cosmetics Cloud, Infinity Cloud in Mocha Morning. This one I thought was pretty close. So that's Mocha Morning and that's I'm a Cancer. It's pretty close. And then the other one is a different formula altogether. This one, I don't know if this one sets down. I think this one just kind of stays like velvety and soft. Um, and let's see what this is like. So it's barely, it's kind of coming off a little bit because I had that um, primer on but it's pretty transfer proof. The other shade I found that was kind of similar to me was this uh, Nourishing Lipstick by Avon. I can't even, I didn't even know I had this. And this is in brown sugar. And the color is just kind of similar, but the formula is totally different. I was just showing you guys the color. So that is the Avon one. That's I'm a Cancer. I'm a Cancer is just really like cool tone brown. Uh. So it's just, it's not really drying down completely, but it's just not really that comfortable. You guys tell me, is this flattering on me at all? I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't think it's terrible, but it's definitely not something that I'm like, yay, I want to wear that one. Um, anyway, so let's take this one off and then I'll show you the last one, which is my favorite. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I did put the MAC Prep and Prime on my lips again so they're kind of hydrated more than they're going to be in a minute it's gonna get crazy so this one is the be brave shade and it's probably one of the pinkier ones that she had i think she has mama or mom i don't know what she calls that one's purple and then this one is the most pink i saw out of all of them like pinky brown so let's put this one on thin layer thin Yeah, the only way you're gonna get this to be somewhat comfortable is if you apply a really thin layer. So this is it, so it hasn't dried. It's gonna dry darker for sure. This, it goes on really light, but then it dries to like a little bit of a deeper purple. Um, oh, I just don't know about the like, the look of the lines in my lips starts driving me crazy. I don't wear matte lipstick much at all, so. Starting to dry down, like I said, I just put on like a really thin coat, so it didn't, it didn't really get too thick, so it should dry really quickly. So I'm gonna swatch this one on my hand. Once again, really thin formula. Um, it can be worn, like I will wear this with a primer and maybe a lip gloss or something over it, but I'm definitely not gonna wear it just on its own because it's just so uncomfortable on its own. I can kind of wear this with a primer, but let me see if, if it's dry yet. It's slightly still wet, but I do have the um, primer on, so it probably won't fully dry down. So this is probably gonna be what it looks like. We'll do these swatches and then we'll see what the final result is. So here it is swatched on my hand. It's such a pretty color. I really like this. And then I went through and tried to find everything. This is a tricky color because it's like when it dries, it dries more purple, a little bit more purple cool tone than I think I was thinking it was gonna be. And because it dries down, um, it's still kind of like this light color though, which is weird too. Anyway, I just had like all these struggles trying to find a dupe, but I'll show you them in action in a minute. So this, it looks a lot lighter, but this is Girls Trip by, um, by Huda Beauty. So it does look a lot lighter. Obviously this, this is their matte formula, but it doesn't dry down. It's not a liquid lipstick. I'm sure Huda probably has, um, a dupe in her collection, but this is the one that I had that I could talk to. This is the one that was the closest, Girls Trip. And I have a, a couple of them, but the other ones did not match. And then the last one I have is the Beloved Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. And um, I just thought this is not a formula dupe, but it is also matte. So 
Um, so it's kind of close, but that is Pillow Talk, and then that is Girls Trip. These are the closest I could come, I swear. I looked at everything in every which way. I put them on my lips, and I think that's when you can tell that they're a dupe. So what I'm going to do is take off half of this. So this is what it looked like dried down, by the way. I'm going to take off this side of my lipstick and I'm both up and upper and lower and let's put on these dupes and see what you think. So I really wanted to do this with the Be Brave color because the other um, lipstick I had didn't match as closely with the dupes as this one does. So I thought it would be good to do it like this. So let's go first with the Girls Trip one and see what you guys think. So obviously that's Be Brave. And that's Girls Trap. I mean, this one dried down, so this one hasn't had a chance to dry down at all yet, but I don't think you can really tell I'm wearing two different lipsticks. Can you? Okay. So that's the first one. And it is a little bit more purple, I would say, than Be Brave, but not much at all. Then let's take this off and then I'm gonna put on Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. All right, then the beloved Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. Let's try it. It looks like Pillow Talk's a little bit darker. It's so weird to me because I always thought Pillow Talk was pretty light on my lips, but now comparing it to this, it looks pretty dark. So I don't know, can you tell I'm wearing two different colors? I thought this was the closest I could come to. So I guess it maybe is like slightly darker, but not much. I'll tell you what, it's much more comfortable than the Jacqueline ones. <laughs> so this is not like a cheaper alternative. This might not even be a cheaper alternative, but I figured these are two like really well-known colors. So I thought maybe you guys might look at it and be like, oh, I already have it. I don't need that. So. So there it is. Those are my comparisons. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. I love videos like this. Give this video a thumbs up if you like dupe videos as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys again soon. Bye.